So we moved this seat badly, unfortunately. I tried to drill in a triangular hole, which was a disaster. Um, but I think if I get a chrome washer, I went to Aces Hardware Saturday evening when uh, I was off work, but it was just packed, and I, I, uh, I just gave up on the experience. But um, uh, what else did we do? We obviously put the we put the uh, red pedals that Carl insisted on, and I've got my two Gremlin bells. So double double indemnity there. And uh, oh yeah, I've got my alarm. Don't know if anyone saw that. It's kind of cool. So you uh, let's have a look. What do you do? This one here. And that locks it. And if anyone comes along, well, it's got to set first. There we go. And it gives you a warning. And after that, all hell breaks through. So I'll turn it off. But I put the Tetro x -Tech rather, brakes on it. Um, a bit dirty, but as I said, I haven't washed it yet. And I put this little pad on the front. And I put those red, uh, I was kind of lucky with those because they match everything else quite nicely. And I got my satellite GPS alarm sticker on it. And uh, did I forget? Yeah, this spring is super duper nice. Anyone that gets one of these. I moved it down from this hole because of, I, I'm six foot and uh, I just didn't qu quite get enough reach. But just moving in that a little bit gave me, uh, and moving the handlebars, just repositioning those, gave me everything I needed. Um, so it's, I'm really pleased with that. But uh, yes, it definitely needs a wash. And uh, well, I guess you've seen the rest of it. But um, I'll play that video back and see what it sounds like. And um, if it's not too noisy, then I'll put it on YouTube and I'll put a link to it. Um, I'm just seeing if I missed anything. I haven't cracked the tank open. Um, I'm, I'm really not in a hurry to do it. I kind of like it the way it is. It's uh, it's fantastic. You know, I park it on the pavement and it might have come out. There's people looking at it. It's uh, It gets quite a lot of attention. It's um, just great fun and everyone seems to accept it. Whereas they never really accept any of those other motorised bikes that I've ever driven. Mainly because they shoot flames out of the exhaust and of course they sound totally obnoxious. So um, I think I'm going to stay with this one and uh, and my plans are to um, probably get just a bigger bike altogether for being a serious biking and this is just, I don't think you can beat this dollar per smile. This is definitely, definitely the way to go. It's just, uh, I just enjoy it, that's all. But anyway, let me play this back and see what I've got and then I'll post you all a link.